capita, at times population or capita. The, uh, once you have humanoid robots, the actual economic output potential is tremendous. Uh, it's, it's really unlimited. Um, potentially, we could have an economy 10 times the size of the current global economy where uh, no one wants for anything. Um, you know, sometimes in AI they talk about universal basic income. I think it's actually going to be universal high income, um, where anyone can have any goods or services that they want. Um, you know, a, a science fiction book recommendation that I have, which I think is probably the best envisioning of an AI future, is uh, the, the, the culture books by Ian Banks. Uh, very highly recommended um, for a uh, non-dystopian view of the future. Um, now, there, there obviously are some risks, you know, um, which illustrate perhaps the, if we don't do this right, you know, you could have like a James Cameron sort of movie, um, you know, Terminator. Um, we don't want that one. Um, but, uh, but having sort of a Star Trek future would be great, where we're out there exploring the stars, discovering the nature of the universe, um, and, um, and a level of prosperity and hopefully happiness that we uh, can't quite imagine yet. So I'm, I'm very excited about the future and uh, very glad to be here. Thank you for having me. It's our absolute pleasure. Yeah. And His Royal Highness was talking to you about his vision and his dream yeah. increase productivity for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and power up the region and the whole yeah. world with robotics, but also on robo-taxis. So how are we doing on robo-taxis? Uh, yeah, so really you can think of a car or future cars as being robots on four wheels. And, um, you know, I think uh, it would be very exciting to have autonomous vehicles here in the Kingdom. Indeed. If you're amenable. You heard the deer from Elon. He's bringing <laughs> his robo-taxi to the kingdom. Yeah. Um, he has another announcement that he's yes, going to ex later. Exactly. So, and I'd, I'd also like to, to uh, thank the kingdom for approving Starlink for maritime and aviation use. Thank you. Maritime and aviation. There you so, go. There you go. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so you're think... going to bring us robots to help us increase our productivity. Yeah. Robo taxis to make sure that our cars and assets turn to turn into a cash generating unit. Yeah. And Starlink, Starlink to reform our aviation and maritime. Yeah. Talk about XAI. Uh, absolutely. And but I just want to mention also uh, something that 